Hello everyone. Well, I'm doing another <laughs> sort of declutter. Having a little break, I thought I would show you the horror of letting a collection of anything get the better of you. I'm mentally ill, I do know that. I'm not stupid. Um, I don't know what I've got, but um, <laughs> collecting anything, whether it's vacuum cleaners, stamps, although I wish I collected stamps, wouldn't take up quite so much room. It's a, I don't know, it's a primal urge to hunt and gather, although my form of hunting is clicking the buy it now button on eBay or checking out on Amazon. So I'm sorting out, some of you may know, I have a, a few vacuums. So I'm going to show you the horror. I'm, uh, it's an absolute tip downstairs because I've emptied half of the garage. So I'll just show you what I'm coping with. I've, I've already earmarked. See, I'm not somebody who has to hold on to everything. I've already earmarked without any hesitation at least 20 models I can sell with no qualms. I won't regret selling them. Because that's what's happened in the past, you see. I've had a, fan, had a fantastic collection of cleaners that if I had them now in the state I had them in back then, they would, they would go for hundreds of pounds each. I'm not joking. Anyway, so that's why I'm reluctant to let go of some. So, uh, I'll just put that. Look. I'm a vacuumologist, it says on this T-shirt, am I? Am I a vacuumologist or just somebody with mental health problems? Um, possibly both. So here are just a few on my landing. This is an empty box. I'm definitely going to sell that, but I want to make another video of that before I sell it. A lot of the cleaners I want to sell, I can't sell straight away because I need to make demo videos of, so it's holding up the process. There's a, a quite a new Miele I got fairly recently I'm keeping that for now. I haven't even unboxed that one. I only got that because it's in the, in the sale, in a sale. <laughs> this um, sort of vintage-ish 80s Electrolux, I'm keeping that. This one I got fairly recently. If you watch my other channel, you'll have seen that video. It's completely, um, how do I clean it up? Well, it's conked out sort of thing because it's been used without a filter. I found a filter for it. Um, it's whether I can fix the motor. So I'm going to see what the seller's going to do. I can send that back and get all my money back, but I quite like it. So for the time being, that's staying. For the time being, this Daisu, Dyson V7 is staying, but that stand and everything is going. Because I have a V10 on this stand, which I'm keeping where it is. So that's, that's the machine I actually use. So that's fine to keep that. And also I use that um, Nito robotic vacuum. So um, just quickly go into the what we laughingly call the study. There's the total crunch. Do you remember that? That's going to the charity shop as most exercise equipment tends to. Certainly in this house. I've got a Swan steam cleaner which I've not, I've not really used. I turned it on once. I've had it ages. I didn't use it. But I'm missing. They are somewhere in the house. There's three extension ones that fit onto it. I can't for the life of me find it. So until I find those, I can't sell that. But that's going to go. And there's an AG, this one here. Yeah. That model, because it's not, it's not special. It's not part of a range. That's going, that's in that box. The Vax Blade, once I've made a proper demo, will be going. This Vax Handheld, once I've made a demo, will be going. That Vax Multivax, so which is here, is quite new. It's another one I bought. But within two weeks, the pump has failed. I contacted Vax, they weren't very helpful. They just said, send it back to the shop. Despite the fact it says somewhere, do not take it back to the shop, ring us. So, um, I'll probably get replacement because I want to make some more videos of that once I've made a few more videos. I might actually keep that because it is part of a sort of a collection of Vax um, three-in-ones. Oh, up there is the empty box for the Bosch Athlete. That's going to be sold as well. Let's quickly run down the stairs. It's only recently, well, it's only yesterday I got rid of, there was a focus. There was a, my Hoover commercial vacuum was stood there. I had other vacuums in here. So I've managed to clear that and I've managed to clear 
the hall. I've got rid of two vacuums this week and uh, a Dyson air purifier thing. So, you know, <laughs> this is the, uh, oh, poor Daisy May. That's a Goblin vacuum I got from Asda Dirt Cheap. Once I've unboxed it and made a video, I will be selling that just for a few pounds. There's an AEG to sell. This Hoover cordless debris, I got that free. I've done the video of that so I can just take a photo and sell that. This I'm keeping. Ah, I have got two of these. This is an import from America so it's a bit hard to sell in the UK unless somebody has an American adapter debris. But I used the other one of that and I wanted a spare one and that's for scrubbing floors. It is also a polisher. That's just an empty box. I'm going to pop the vacuum in. There's a vacuum in here that has featured on my channel. Well, an unboxing. I've not done a proper demo. That's years ago. Once that's been demoed and cleaned up, that will be sold. Um, what's in here? Oh, hot, a hot point trolley vac, which I have unboxed but not demonstrated. That will be sold. What I'm trying to do is bringing, I'm bringing all the ones in that I'm going to sell. I might have to put them back in the garage after I've tidied the rest of the garage, but they'll be at the front so I can get at them and sell them easier. Oh, that's uh, just a cheap Asda tub vacuum. I'm going to sell that one because, again, it's not part of a range and it's not special. Rug Doctor, once I've made the demo of that, which I should be doing in a couple of weeks, the Rug Doctor is going to be sold. It's too big to use in my house. This hard floor washer, I need to make another demo of that. That will be sold. This Beldre floor washer thing, that's going to be sold. That new vac isn't. You haven't seen that yet if you watch my other channel. These, these, um, this pile here is going to my mum's um, because I want to make videos while I'm at my mum's so this, they're not going to be sold, they're going to be kept. Uh, they're going to stay at my mum's or come back so there's a heady extra you've just seen me unbox if you watch my other channel. So I'll be doing a demo of that. There's a little iRobot Brava Jet which I want to make a demo video of. A couple of Hoovers that are just going to be stored and there's another older Hoover there. That SIBO is just an empty box, but I'm not going to get rid of any SIBOs or Mealers yet. These are just empty boxes, basically, at the moment. Um, so they'll be going back. Oh, that Morphe Richards Super Vac. There's a fly flying about. That's going to be sold. Uh, what's in here? Oh, just empty. Empty box. I'm going to keep all the Dysons for now. Um, hello, Molly. This is just packaging. Which I'll be using. I'm keeping this, that's the empty box for it though. And inside here, believe it or not, is a vacuum I've had maybe two years. It's a second hand Electrolux Master Lux. So if there's anything wrong with that, there's no way I could return that now. I'm gonna have to get that opened. <laughs> I've had to put the bikes here because and the lawnmower to make some room. Inside here is an AEG Nimble that's going to be sold. Just in there. Oh Molly Poos, what is it? Eh? What's all this? What's your daddy up to again? Eh? So and I've just brought in boxes and boxes of spares and, and hoses and tools, all sorts of things. Right. Do, 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 do. Oh, I've left the, oh, I've left the gate open. Blimey. Right. I'm, I'm a bit uh, wary of the weather because it's uh, sunshine and showers. So if it starts raining, we'll have to dash in and, and oh, the sun's coming out again. So, excuse my poor handwriting, but this is what I'm selling, going to be selling. So far I've made a list. So this, there's a fair few on there. I expect this will be going once I've done another demo. This Rug Doctor Portable. Not sure about this Hoover Concept 1 because it needs fixing. Mm. I might, see when I've really, once I've got rid of the surplus and the ones that, you know, I should have the space to see what else I've got and then other ones will go. I mean I've got a lot of brand new Kenwood Chef Air to got cheap from Asda, it was very cheap. I don't know whether to just to sell that. I'm keeping this, this is the Vax 
VX3 because um, it's quite unusual there's certain I've got a brand new um, pressure washer that's been in its box for weeks and weeks so if there's anything wrong with that I can't send that back to QVC where I got it from so <laughs> as we I can actually see the back wall of the garage which is unusual this is mainly my um, Henry and Hetty and pneumatic wall really they all I'm keeping all the pneumatics because I'm no fool pneumatics are popular videos on YouTube so a lot of the younger viewers like them especially when I get them out hopefully once I've got this time and space once I've cleared a few of the odds and ends I'll be able to get you know do videos of all my pneumatics all at once but it's it'll fill the fill my living room I'm sure uh, inside this box I probably will sell I'm not sure is a backpack vacuum again I unboxed ages ago but didn't demonstrate um, more Hetty's Henry's there's a Hoover Telios at the back I've got cheap there's a Charles there's a Lewis um, it's an AEG I'm, keep, I'm keeping that one for now oh, and there's a, 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 a Ninja Nutri bullet thing a Nutri it's not just a Nutribullet, it's a, a complete blender system. Shark sent me that, just as a gift. They didn't, uh, I didn't have to make a video, but it's still in its box because I have a Nutribullet that works and there was no point in opening that. Um, this is a Bissell Big Blue, Big Blue Clean Machine. I might keep that, I'm umming and eyeing, but I need to make another video of that. That Bissell Hydro, Hydro Clean Complete, definitely keeping that. But again, I want to sort of get it out and do sort of a new video on it with in 4K. Uh, me. Now it says Dyson DC11, but whether or not it is a DC11 in this box, oh, it is. Because some of them aren't. Some of them haven't got the correct boxes. So there is a DC11, and it's vacuum packed, and the vacuum has remained, so it's still sealed up against damp. Um, so as I said, all the Dysons, that Miele Art. I think that's oh that's the red roses one that, that's that I'm keeping as I said all the Mealers and Sebos and pneumatics and Dysons definitely keeping all my classic 70s and 80s Electrolux and Hoovers I'm keeping um, but so there's going to be some odds and ends that are going to be thinned out I'll probably keep all the sharks for now um, but they might start to go at some point what's in here oh, right, these I'm keeping but they're not very well they're strange bedfellows. We have the Electrolux Turbomatic 355 snuggled up next to the Hoover Freedom Electronic 1000 and all the tools. They are not stored as they should be, but anyway, safe enough in there for now. So classic machines that I remember from my childhood and teenage years, if I've got them in my collection, they're stopping, apart from a few duplicates, because um, in some cases I've got the machine but I found another example on eBay in better condition so if that's the case then the one that's not as good will be sold so I just have one the better one you know but the you know they're still gonna be fine for someone who wants uh, a vacuum that Kirby classic 3 um, that's the tools for it that's definitely going I'm hoping to but it, it won't be going for a while because I do need to make a lot of videos on that my Kirby tradition the blue one I'm gonna sell that the only Kirby I'm keeping is my um, diamond G edition some more Mealers there uh, a lot of these are empty boxes there's these are two Panasonic icons I do have two Panasonic icons one of them is out inside one of these Panasonic icon boxes is another Panasonic a green one that didn't have the original box I'm umming and I think I'll keep my both icons for now because I use one and one's kept for best sort of thing but it's broken it can be fixed they both were broken on arrival but I fixed the one I'm using with some special glue um, Mila Blizzard Parquet I've got two of well I've got two blizzards where well, that flies followed me in here so uh, any of you interested I've still got the still got the dryer I can just about get to it still got this still use that very happy with that dryer and the washer still and under here this is for an Electrolux um, Masterlux 
I've two of those yes I just told you about one I've got one that was new in the box but it was damaged so I bought another one to use the spares from it to fix the better one and so the one that spares or repairs machine I'll sell that on so someone else can have that for spares or repairs and I've also got two Electrolux twin streams so one of those is going but it's the broken one but again somebody might want it for spares you see so that's what I'm thinking but uh, there's a little moth have you come out of my wallet um, and also we've got still got it but it made it's handy for stacking the uh, tumble dryer on it so I like I would love you know in my in my fantasy world I'd love a utility room a house big enough with a utility room to either have a washer and dryer matching next to each other or stacked you know matching so this is the sort of height and it's very handy to have your dryer at this height it's only this height because it's on top of the Hoover washer I got given I was part of Hoover's um, tester community but I don't know if that's if that stopped um, but when I tried to get onto that again it won't let me onto this, the thing so I don't know if they're still doing it or they've, they've decided they don't want me on it this is the only thing I reviewed and I think I was fair about it probably a bit too fair to be honest I didn't you know say it was fantastic I said what was wrong with it but I said it was okay but I didn't I didn't go too mad uh, I'm not fast I haven't had any free stuff for quite a while but I'm not bothered because you get accused when you get stuff given free you get accused of falsifying your reviews because it's free um, also for me at the moment I haven't got time I don't want the pressure of having to do a review because if you get something given you have to do the review in a certain time frame and at the moment I am not in the position once all this is sorted then you know I might start accepting I am getting offers of stuff but some ridiculous things really um, I'm getting offered to review something to help you breathe easier some nasal strip I got an offer to review some lights some bedding I just said no they're nothing to do with the channel I I'm not reviewing them and I've had some no-name companies asking me to review their s vacuums and I normally don't bother if I've not heard of the company and if this they ask me in pidgin English then I just don't bother so I have been offered for any of my haters out there I've been offered loads of stuff that I just don't accept you know because I do have some principles folks um, Oh, that's the this is just a, a sky reacher that's one of the reasons I got this pressure washer it was on a QVC today special thing you know um, but that needs opening if you want to see me opening that on this channel and doing a demo I might do that for you um, this Beko I bought cheap that's definitely going to be sold once I've made a video um, but yeah that's uh, that's the state of affairs for today I'm gonna really have to crack on for another hour or two and then have something to eat hello molly boos are you sitting in the sun hey where's that oh look there she is little little madam she was a bit poorly yesterday she's all right today though aren't you daisy hey daisy may oh molly hello darling my lovely mold do you like my lawn look at it it's looking absolutely fantastic apart from a dog poo um, needs cutting uh, it's um, the best it's looked it's because I'm using this stuff called lawn magic again something I bought on QVC I'm a sucker for QVC um, hang on I bought it with this sprayer this feeder it's got adjustable um, Oh, it's set on the grass setting there but you can change it you know to flower because uh, you can put different feed in it and you can have it no feed but that's what every four weeks I feed the lawn with this stuff that's got seaweed in and things and um, it has resulted in this very I mean it's still a bit patchy I, I have thickened it up a bit with more lawn seed but you know it's um, considering there's two dogs peeing on it every day it's pretty good isn't it moles it's pretty good 
I'd love to be able to have a lawn I can lie on, but when you've got dogs, you don't know what you might be lying on. Even if you've cleared up the solid matter, you could be lying on a patch where they've uh, had a wee-wee. The garden is pretty, Mark does the garden. It's pretty overgrown, well it's not overgrown, but it's being the time of year it is. Everything, you know, starts to grow, starts to come out. He likes a sort of informal, messy garden. I prefer something more formal, I think. Oh, Daisy. Let's go in then. Let's go in. What is the time? Oh, well, it's noon. So, what I think I could do... I've really got to crack on for at least two more hours, I think. Um, this has all got to be put away, obviously, before Mark comes home. Um, he has lived with a few of this, this mess for a few days. Um, so by the end of the day, I hope to have separated everything in the garage. Well, when I was in the garage, I didn't show you above me because above my head, because the garage has a pitched roof, I'll just show you. Because it's got a pitched roof, I do have stuff up there. I boarded it all up, so there's loads up there as well. But for, the, for today, I'm just gonna sort out the lower part of the garage put all the vacuums I'm keeping oh, sorry about that mess it is all going to be sorted don't worry you know it'll all go in the dishwasher when I can actually get to the dishwasher um, oh I've made some bread which is in that little doobie there this is the iron if you haven't seen the iron I don't iron that's Mark's iron it's not bad he's had it quite he's had it mm, more than 10 years I'd say still works and that microwave is about 10 years old it's a whirlpool that still works too. The only thing we've replaced in the kitchen is the the oven and hob because it was a cheap whirlpool thing you know the builders put it in and uh, when that went kaput Mark decided to get a nice neff which needs cleaning. That's an empty, these are empty boxes. I think all of this here is empty boxes. So yeah it's a mess but I'm getting there, I've got to really get on with it. So that's it, um, I didn't think I'd be giving you another video so soon. Thanks for your comments in my last video. I was missed by some of you. And um, so I thought, well, I might as well, while I've got this mess, I might as well add this to my decluttering video. But again, it's, it's a little bit of an unusual situation. It's not your regular household family clutter, is it? Well, I don't see it as clutter. My partner is quite happy to get a big skip and just dump everything in there, but there is value. And I'm not kidding myself, the things I, you know, they are working vacuum cleaners, mostly what I need to get rid of. I've got other things that need to go, but the bulk of, you know, my problem obviously is vacuum cleaners and they are worth something. Even if I get 20 pounds or 30 pound, um, it's not to me, it's not about the money. It's about getting rid um, clearing and being happier as a result because I can't go on like this and nor can my partner it has affected our relationship I have to say so as long as he sees that I'm actually doing being proactive and getting stuff done um, that's fine he knows it's going to take a while um, as I said this week two vacuums and my Dyson big tall Dyson um, air purifier, pure cool, that went. I got that free, that Dyson. I was very surprised with how much I got for that. I don't know how much they go for on you, but I think I got 380 pounds for that. And I got it for nothing, so quid's in. But all that money, plus a bit more, has paid for my holiday in Anglesey, because that was due, that's due to be paid for at the end of this month. So I've just paid for that my half. Um, now so getting rid of something I didn't want has paid for my holiday so what is better owning something you don't want or having a holiday that you've got memories that's what I'm focusing on I need to we're getting a caravan as I said to make memories you're not going to live your life regretting you didn't buy this or that you're gonna live your life well, when you end your life, you're going to regret the things you didn't do that don't cost. I mean, I know buying a caravan and going on holiday does cost money. 
but those sort of costs aren't going to clutter up your house they're going to give you memories to think on when you're old and you're peeing your pants so that's the end of this video I hope you've enjoyed a little look at the madness surrounding me today but as I said it's a work in progress by 5 p.m. in five hours all this will be cleared and tidy fingers crossed with a little half hour break for lunch so until then thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye for now